Hello and welcome back. One of the bits of kit that I picked up when I was up at Southern Spirit Camper Vans is this. Ha! Yes, the more astute amongst you might recognize this as a lump of metal. Einen Luftgunstbad wie Golfen und no. That's not going to work. <laughs> so this lump of metal is commonly known as an airlock. Now what happens is it goes in the locking mechanism in the rear of the Volkswagen Transporter in this case and it allows you to effectively shut the hatch and lock the vehicle while still leaving an air gap. Now it looks a bit like a puzzle piece so how on earth do you put this in? Right well this is all German to me because it is literally German and um, so let's just go out and have a go. By inserting this duckbill or whatever you want to call it in like so and through there. Now you kind of have to push it in this way so that the locking mechanism of the door then actually aligns properly. And as you then close the door, the locking mechanism of the door should interact with the airlock and lock it up. So it leaves a gap all the way around the door. I think this part of the door would still be fairly waterproof, but through here, if there was a wind going straight in there, you'd probably get wet inside. And the good thing is that once you have locked it, if you've got inside lights on, they will dim on this vehicle as well. So just be careful with your van to make sure that the car doesn't still think that the door is open and doesn't leave the light on and drain your batteries. That'd be bad. The other thing to be aware of is that there is actually a fair bit of play in the door, even with the airlock in and the van locked. And when you open it up and want to close it again, realize that this thing will have moved. So you just need to, again, push it across this way to make sure that it aligns with the locking mechanism in the door. Now, as you know, I like doing things on the cheap. So I also wanted to know, even though this thing is pretty cheap already, I wanted to see if there's some other way that you could actually achieve the same result. Let's try some tie down straps. So you could feed one in here, stick the other one through there, thread it through here, and then push that out. It's possible, but the air gap is bigger. You can't actually lock it. And you know, for the price of entry, why would you bother? Come on. <sighs> the main thing is that ratchet strap version gives people access still to the back of your car and you can't lock it. So bad idea, I think overall, very bad idea. Given that this thing is so well manufactured and engineered exactly for the job that it's meant to do, I don't think you'd actually bother doing a jury rig version because this actually does the job and it's very inexpensive. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed that quick look at this airlock. I believe they're available for pretty much any uh, make or model of van. And as I say, they're very cheap. So get you one. Upcoming videos will be the future parts of the Brisbane trip. I hope you enjoyed that first one, as well as the fly screens, which I now have a properly fitted fly screen that goes in the rear. So we can compare that to the fairly ghetto one that's in the side sliding door. So that will be coming up next, as well as more stuff about Brisbane. We're planning another camping trip as well. so. That will be coming your way shortly as well. So once again, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe. It's the only thing that actually makes a difference. It's just because YouTube doesn't actually pay attention to anything apart from subscribers. Um, so if you wouldn't mind doing that, that would be excellent. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.